Hello my dear friends, Shurma here. A very warm welcome to my channel and hope you're having a lovely day. Today is 9th of May and the year is 2021 and it happens to be The materials needed for today's project are all listed over here. I begin with a white watercolour paper 10.5 cm by 19 cm in size and it has a very pale yellow stenciled background. That is triple loading of the brush and this technique of florals is called one stroke deco art style. So here I'm trying to create the center of the rose and thereafter I'll go on to create the outer petals of the rose. Now this particular bunch of florals will have a central rose and some more little ones surrounding it. So this is the main big rose in the making. Thereafter I will paint the smaller ones around it. It is said that the hand that rocks the cradle is the hand that rules the world. And this beautiful thought was given by the famous poet William Ross Wallace. The person I am today, whatever I know, whatever skills I have, I have to be really grateful to my parents to have instilled those in me. And I have dutifully passed on my experiences to my own daughter as well. Mothers all over the globe have very similar characteristics. They are nurturing, embracing, compassionate, guiding, and shower unconditional love on their children. They are an epitome of selflessness, and they should be celebrated not on just one day, but every day of the year. I have a lovely poem to share with you and it has been written by Gurudev 
Rabindranath Tagore. Gurudev Rabindranath was an Indian poet, dramatist and novelist. He had won the Nobel Prize for Literature for his work called Geetanjali. Now he had lost his mother in his infancy. And he had a very faint collection of his mother's face. But he used to feel her presence everywhere. And he has poured out his thoughts into a nostalgic poem called I Cannot Remember My Mother. It is an English translation from the poem which was originally written in Bengali. isn't it so this rose bunch which i am trying to create here i am dedicating it to all the mothers and grandmothers of the world <laughs> 